fast five future presidential library names. Start with my number five, the Donald J. Trump hooked on phonics, really big, really great, no problems at all, perfect library located in rural Wisconsin. (laughs) (laughs) Known to locals as the DJT, this presidential library houses the nation's collection of finger painted artworks. Attendance has been dwindling and the library is looking for a buyer. It's been on Zillow for over 600 days at an asking price of $1.2 billion, (laughs) even though it's estimated to be worth only about 10 million on a good day. (laughs) Ba-boom! Woo! (laughs) Number four, the Joe Biden Institute for Social Social Distancing Memorial Library, located just minutes from the downtown Dover Amtrak station. Following a rough first term that didn't see the COVID-19 pandemic truly coming to an end until the next election cycle, the Biden administration took social distancing head on by providing Joe with a head and shoulders massage doll that he strained deep tissue therapy into while delivering Oval Office addresses. A nation was soothed every time old Joe grunted through the darkest times with firm eye contact. Number three, the Barack Obama II Electric Boogaloo Library in Honolulu. After Uncle Joe's successful reminder that Barack was cool, term limits were removed and Obama served three more terms as commander in chief. Since his library in Chicago was already built, the second was slated for Hawaii with a research facility in Nairobi, Kenya, just to fuck with Republicans. (laughs) Number two, the Katie Porter Cross-Examination Library and Electoral Approval Facility in Irvine, California. After being elected the first woman president in 2040, California's current representative from the 45th District continued her good name with her tough but fair lines of questioning. While in office, she approved the No More Bullshit Decree that was signed into law her second term. It states that all elected officials and lobbyists must pass an 8th grade constitution test, an AP U.S. history test, and for good measure, a driver's test. <laughs> <laughs> and the number one future name for a presidential library is the Tom Cruise Research Library for Continued Badassery. Yes. This is located, Sorry. located in the aptly named Top Gun Valley near Sector 7 on the lunar surface. <laughs> this was erected after shooting several films in space. Tom Cruise became the first actor turned president since Reagan and the first president to be elected off planet, conducting his entire campaign via live stream launches in his personal rocket, answering fan questions as he circled the globe in orbit. His campaign slogan, Gravity Schmavity, became an instant sensation, securing him 96% of the vote. The research <laughs> library is for experimental stunts and future films, as all films other than action were outlawed in the John Wick Act of 2046. <laughs> <laughs> 